Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we completely explored the Kaelstrin Rift. I believe it was. We're good to move on to some place else. I don't really have any plans. If I'm being completely honest, yeah, the, uh, there it is. Kaelstrin Rift, 100%. Okay. Got the red. Here's my thing, I'm just like, there are so many places. There are so many places. Um. Okay, so that's... That is the one we should do the last. I, I was like, what's over there? No, it's, it's just... It's just the cross. Um, yeah, this this is the one we should be doing after the main game, I believe. I remember exploring the local cluster. I don't remember exploring the Shadow Sea. I have absolutely no memories of this. Ooh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Okay, let's... You know, I'm I'm gonna head back there because I don't know what this is. Oh! Yeah, now this. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I I I get this. I get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this. Th we can trust this. We can trust this. I now remember what that is. God, I'm. Ch I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm paralyzed by choice. That's the issue I'm having. I'm absolutely paralyzed by all of the plates. Like, some of them don't even have pop-ups. Some of them don't even have pop-ups. Dear Lord. Okay, um... Okay. Okay, you know what? You know what? We have had... Wait, no, wait a minute. Secure smuggled cargo. That was for, um... That was for Cerberus. I was thinking the, uh, th there's a crashing ship? What? It, oh my god, everything, everything seems so like, you need to go do this. You need to go do this. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna go to the Crescent Nebula. We're gonna explore there. I feel like there should be some rhyme or reason to this, but I'm just like, yeah, no, there isn't. There is not. Yeah, let's just... We'll, we'll explore this system. I think... I think I would also like to go and chat with Liara. We've done a major mission. So we could also, um... We could also just check in with the shops. Yeah, I think... I think that makes the most sense. Okay, what do we have? Hello there. Galen. Galen is surrounded by an extensive ring system. The inner rings are composed of pulverized nano-manufactured carbon materials, thought to be the remains of an Artheni helium-3 mining infrastructure. The few pieces of larger debris found indicate a materials technology at least equal to the current galactic state of the art. The outer rings consist of water ice, silicate dust, and the odd bit of rock. Analysis of the debris often shows shock damage and evidence of rapid heating. Some parahistorical theorists insist that the outer rings represent debris from the moon or moons destroyed by mass accelerator bombardment. This has been rejected by every reputable xenoarchaeologist. While it is theoretically possible to destroy a small moon utterly with dreadnought bombardment, no species sees a compelling reason to do so. Orbital distance, 2.96 AU. Orbital period, 5.7 Earth years. Radius, 63,539 kilometers. Day length, 8.9 Earth hours. Okie doke. Now, I think I don't really have a plan in terms of like, okay, I'm gonna go to this system, then this system, blah, 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 blah. I think here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna explore two systems, then I'm gonna go do a mission. Launching probe. Then I'm gonna explore two systems, I'm gonna do a mission. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of try and 
try and do that. That makes sense to me. That way I'm not doing, you know... You know I don't want to do all of the planet scanning. Launching probe. And then do all of the missions, because that... I, I don't think that'd be all that pleasant to watch. So I'm going to try and space things out as best as I can. Yeah, I don't... don't think there's going to be anything else. Okay, yeah, you're good. Okay, looks like there'll only be four planets here. Epho. Epho is a rocky world with an atmosphere of oxygen and carbon dioxide. There are large craters scattered across its surface, obviously from hypervelocity kinetic impactors. Stretching between these locations are the shattered remains of a magnetic levitation yeah, that is levitation rail lines, which strongly suggests the craters represent the former locations of Artheni mining outposts or other settlements. The equatorial region contains an extensive network of canyons formed by the planet's abundant liquid water. Travel advisory. Epho's atmosphere is approximately 41% carbon dioxide at sea level. This level is four to six times that necessary to render most species unconscious within a few minutes of breathing it. Breathing masks must be worn at all times when on the surface of Epho. Orbital distance, 1.56 AU. Orbital period, 2.22 Earth years. Radius, 8,031 kilometers. Day length, 70 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 0.96 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, negative 41 Celsius, 12 equator. Surface gravity, 1.0 G. In this place is rich, lovely, jubbly. I do like to see a rich planet. Mm, that's decent. Launching probe. Okay, like, oh, hello. Probe launched. I was about to say, let's see what we can get out of Epho. Apparently, probe. plenty. Don't mind if I do. We do need it. Launching probe. We need to be as upgraded as possible. There's, there's got to be more. Launching probe. This place is rich. There have to be. There we go. Probe away. That's more like it. Mind if I do? Launching probe. Okay, there we go. Down to good. Launching probe. And down to moderate. Okay. Yeah, that is fantastic. And then just you two over here, I think. Uh, Nymphma, maybe? Tidally locked to the stars Alen, Nymphma has the expected hot pole and cold pole. Along the Terminator is a thin band of nearly habitable terrain. Unfortunately, the local biosphere is based on chlorinated oxygen atmosphere. It is not sophisticated, but it has proven highly dangerous. The Asari surveyor, Varalis, landed on Nymphma in 1684 to study the local ecology. Unbeknownst to the crew, a handful of native chlorine-fixing microbes passed through biohazard screening and entered the ship. The Viralis returned to the port of Nos Panalo on Ilium, where the Netman microbes escaped into a temperate environment with plentiful unused chlorine. The microbes devoured the chlorides in the earth. As metabolic byproducts, they produced toxic polychlorinated biphenyls, I think that is, PCBs. By the time the infestation was contained, an area of nearly 30 square kilometers had been effectively turned into a toxic waste dump. Nos Penalo had to be abandoned, accelerating the development of Nos Astra. Orbital distance, 0.8 AU. Orbital period, 0.8 Earth years. Radius, 4,456 kilometers. Day length, 40.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 0.55 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, 32 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.57 G. Okay, well, it's a good thing we don't have to land on here. Probe away. 
Wait, part, part of me is very concerned about sending probes down there. But it's rich. It's rich. I can't say no to a rich planet. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's not worth it. That's not what that is, though. Hello. Probe launched. Anything else? Come out, come out, wherever you are. More spikes are always appreciated. There we go. There's something massive. Probe launched. You know, that's that's quite that's quite a pretty green colour. You know, the, the little bits. Not like the main green colour, but those nice kind of little luminescent-esque bits. Quite I'm quite fond of that shade. Launching probe. There we go, down to good. And a yoink. Probe launched. <laughs> down to moderate. Okay, my my work is done. Probe away. My work is done. We have completely just depleted this planet. We're giving people a reason not to come back here. That's what we're doing. It's for the safety of other people. I have detected an anomaly. Oh, Hella. Also, that again. Another very pretty planet. Uh, Helmy, maybe? Helmy is a post-garden world that once enjoyed an Earth-like oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere. It is still blessed with plentiful water, but a generally cold climate and extreme seasonal shifts courtesy of a 38-degree axial tilt. Helmy is thought to be the homeworld of the Arthen, a space-faring species which disappeared approximately 300,000 years ago. Precisely what happened to Helmy is still under debate. It appears a global extinction occurred, wiping out all native animal life forms more complex than zooplankton. Plant forms were not affected, but the lack of oxygen-breathing life caused oxygenation of the atmosphere. Plant life was reduced after lightning storms ignited global wildfires. The leading theory for Helmi's devastation is an out-of-control biological weapon. For this reason, landing is strictly prohibited. The corporations of Ilium have emplaced a network of quarantine satellites, satellites to dissuade would-be looters from landing in the crumbling cities. Orbital distance, 1.2 AU. Orbital period, 1.5 Earth years. Radius, 5,522 kilometers. Day length, 44.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 0.84 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, negative 15 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.87 G. What do we have? Impact is in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion protocol. Repeat, unidentified ship detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion oh, protocol. Dear. Detected in orbit. Launching All units probe. report to ready stations. Something on our sensors. Hmm. Anomaly detected. Mercenary activity detected inside a mining facility on planet's surface. Facility confirmed registered to Elfell Ashland Energy Corporation. Eclipse presence confirmed. Distress beacon powered down at site. Sensors detect multiple spacefaring vessels launching from facility. Well, just give me a minute. One second. One second. I just, I just, I have to remember to scan. Okay, where was it? That's pretty decent. Probe away. I promise I'll I'll be two ticks. I'll Launching be two probe. ticks. See, it was a good thing I checked. This place is element zero. Launching probe. God, they're under attack and we're looting the place. I probe away. I feel guilty, but we need it. We need their stuff. I'm very sorry. Oh, hello. Probe launched. Yeah, we, we always need more element zero. Always. Probe away. Well, the very Launching nice. Probe. Lovely jubbly. And you? Probe away. We can leave that one. Oh, hello. Launching probe. 
Okay, there we go. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll land. We're coming. We're here to help. Ooh, now, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's been a while since we brought out Zaid, so you can come along. And... Hmm. You know what, let's, let's bring out Samara, why not? Okay, you have two points, we can't really spend that on anything. You have five, though. So you, let's, let's grab an upgraded throw. Heavy throw, fling a single enemy with unparalleled momentum, smashing it against walls with hurricane force or throw field. Your mastery of biotic throws allows you to hurl multiple targets into the air simultaneously. Ooh. I feel like, again, I'm trying to go more for what the characters would pick. Sometimes, in the case of Tally's combat drone, I'm like, yo, we need that damage against biotic barriers. But nine times out of ten, I'd rather go with something that feels right for the character. To compare Samara to Jack, the other pure biotic on the team, Jack seems like doing as much damage as she possibly can to multiple targets. She's more of a risk taker, whereas Samara... You know, she meditates, she is practiced, she, you know, she has spent time honing her abilities, whereas Jack seems more chaotic. So I like the idea of she, you know, you know, she just has the one, the one attack, but it hits real hard. So yeah, we'll, we'll go for heavy throw there. And Zaid, buddy, let's, we'll, we'll save that up. We'll save that up for, um, Concussive shot, I think. Yeah. Okay. And again, no, no map. We just know we have to head this way. Hello? Okay, that's nice. We have giant insects. That's a bush. That's what I thought. I thought it was some kind of wasp monster and I was like, oh hell no. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. Okay. This is fine, no loot, but what be this? Okay, shipping log. Cargo ship Ter Allen docked and received a large shipment of resources en route to a facility in the Dranic system. Ter Allen requested escort for the shipment, claiming pirate activity along the route. Okay. So someone was concerned about pirates. That's nice. Oh, Jesus Christ, hello. Hello, what the... F how dare? I was having a moment. Excuse you. Come on. Fuck you. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Get them off their feet. Come on. Anyone else wants them? Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, so. Why, uh, why? why are you like this? Why are you like this? Of them. Okay, let's. One of those. There we go. I was about to say so, Eclipse aren't here in a friendly capacity, unless they assumed we were pirates. Unless they assumed that. Well, I just let me let me pick that up. Thank you. So reload. Okay, so yeah, we need to be going that way. So what's over here? Hmm, a big drop. 
I and some palladium. Thank you, lovely. Pardon me, pardon me, people. Okay, so the, the factory still seems to be working. We've just got the big question of why are Eclipse here? What are they up to? What are they doing? Yoink. Okay. Okie doke. You. And you. Yeah, it was, it was pointed out to me that, um, I'm just gonna pause right there. It was pointed out to me that you can actually track the lines to see where they match up to. That's, that's cool. I, I'm not gonna, I think it would take too long for me to do that. I think I'm just gonna, you know, mouse over stuff and guess. That's worked well so far. Oh, I'm so sorry. Alert, we are under mercenary attack. Escort civilians to crew quarters, then return to the work area to protect the main computer at all costs. Okay. I am... I'm, I'm so sorry, madam. I am so sorry. Yeah, we can't go through that way. Okay. Okay, let's, let's see if anyone survived. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. You mm -hmm. get pulled, and you concussive sock, and you there we go. <laughs> Wee, there he goes. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, no, no. What do we have on? Oh, well, that. Let's get. Hmm. Let's get some bone crushing force. That sounds good to me. And get into cover. Oh, you have a rocket. That's not cool. Sorry, concussive shot. Back into cover. Down he goes. I t you were up there. You were up there. Okay, let's see. Oh god, we got explosive crates. We don't need that. We don't need that in our lives. I'm just... Oh, Hello. Uh, put them where we need them. <laughs> yeah, I think that got him. I think that just about got him. So yeah, we can't we can't go any further that way. Okay. I'm just trying to explore the battlefield to make sure Oh hello, hello. I want that. That was stupidly risky, but I regret nothing. Killed one. Hit one. Okay, you dead? Yeah, you dead. Okay, come on. Just keep moving forwards. Keep moving forwards whilst looking for shit to loot. Oh, excuse you. Okay, okay. You. One of them. You. One of them. Anyone else want them? Let's. We need cover. We need cover that way. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I want, I want that med kit. I need that med kit. And more of that. Hello. Okay. This, this is a bad move because I, I've noticed enemies don't stop just because you're hacking stuff. So this is white with a blue. You. We want a diagonal. You. And... You know, we're looking for a lot of blue. A lot of blue like that. Oh, okay.
Okay. Okay, so, yeah, this is, it's just updating. Okay. Encrypted data. Location of last report from Ter Alan, or Alan, encrypted. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, as long as they don't come in from that side, I'm happy. Grabbing cover. Okay. One of them, if you please. Okay, and you can piss off. Still more incoming. I mean, if you want to keep sending Solarians after me, like, I'm... I'm happy with that. There we go, okay. You know what, then. Get into cover, get into cover. Missile put him down. Okay, one of those, if you please. I see you there. Okay. I don't know if that can reach. We'll give it a go, because why not? Oh, it can! Excellent! Oh, Captain... Captain who? I... Oh, please don't do that. Don't do that. Did we actually... We have what we want. Okay. Mm -mm. One of them, if you please. And one of them on them. Oh, and you're there being a hoe. Oh, okay, everyone, everyone is okay. Just hold up, just hold up. If, if someone would like to go after the combat drone, that'd be nice. Um, could, could someone please? I have no idea where Samara is. No idea whatsoever. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, Samara's right there. Hello. Let's... It, I mean, it's a waste. It's a waste. Better to do it on someone who has more health. One of them, if you please. Get them off their feet. Get to cover! Ooh, your shields are back up. I. I. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm in a bad position for this. She's still up, though. She's still up. I'll get them off their feet. Okay, there we go. There we go. The decrypted data is incomplete. Further details are required to trace the tear Allen's location. The data has been sent to Cerberus for further analysis. I. Okay, so there we go. That was that was it. Ah, okay. Okay, so something we can follow up on later, however. How there is at least one med kit here. I mm. Okay, convenient. I didn't I don't need to go there though. I'm just I'm just looking for any med kits. Any med kits at all, it'd be really appreciated. Nothing hidden over here. But there is you. Thank you kindly. And there we yeah. That was that was what we saw. Okay. So it looks like we've grabbed everything here. Okay. Very interesting. I hope we can follow up on this.
It's a shame we couldn't save anyone. Recovered data referring to the Tear Ellen's location. More decryption needed. I gained a little bit of experience, some money. Okay, good stuff. And you know what? I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, again, more planet scanning. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.